Hi, this is David at PDF Automation Station. Today we're going to demonstrate our automated table of contents tool. And we like to call it a floating table of contents. It's actually a toolbar button, but it actually travels with the PDF document. And uh, I say it's floating because you can have access to the table of contents no matter what page you're on. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate that. This is a random 21 page document. I just put together some different fun facts for mutual funds for different funds here. And what I'm going to do is first select the highlighting tool in Adobe Acrobat Pro. And whatever words I highlight will be the words in the table of contents. And they'll point to whatever page that word is on. So I'm just going to scroll through this. I'll highlight some other funds here, some words. And you need Acrobat Pro to use this tool to create the table of contents. But once it's created, it will function with Adobe Reader as well. So I'm finished highlighting. I'm going to press the escape key. And that just gets me out of that highlighting tool. I'll go to the help menu, PDF automation station, add table of contents slash bookmarks. So I'm going to select that create table of contents. I'm also going to select remove highlights. I can also create bookmarks for the bookmark panel, but I'm not going to do that. I'll demonstrate that on another video. So I'll click Create. And in the bottom right corner, you'll see a progress bar. And it just shows um, which page out of the 21 is currently being processed. And it skips over pages without highlights pretty quickly. The pages with highlights, it takes a little bit longer because it's actually got to scan every single word on the page and get a match to the highlight. So we're on page 7 now out of 21. Once it's finished, you'll see a message pop up that says it's completed. Twenty-one pages processed. When I click OK, you'll see that highlight disappear. And here's my table of contents. It's actually a JavaScript window. So when I click that, there's all the, the funds that I highlighted. And I can just go to whatever, whatever fund I want. And this is what I mean by floating. It's always there. I can exit out and close it if I want. And it won't come back till I reopen the document. I can also move it around by just dragging it, put it where I want it. So it's pretty cool. Table of contents automated just by highlighting. And again, when I save this document, this will travel with the document, this toolbar, and it will work if somebody opens it with Adobe Reader as well as Acrobat. And that's all there is to it. If you want to use this tool, just become a premium member at pdfautomationstation.com. Thanks for watching.